Hey guys, I've been wanting to do a video on this for a long time and I couldn't find the key. My dad gave me this. He bought a ton of them. I made a bunch of money on them. This is from the 40s. Um, back when parking for an hour was 10 cents. Here's what you did. That right there is where so the meter maid would come around and wind it with a T-bar. These have to be wound uh, for the motor action. And uh, let me see here. You come down and you got the insides. <clears throat> let me show you the guts here. I've been wanting to do a video on this. I really I think this is one of the coolest things ever. There's the inside. Your strong box is down there. The plate that goes on the strong box is right there. The, the, the dimes shoot down in there. <clears throat> and there's the Mac Ganeism. So I just put a little bit of light oil on it. It hasn't been oiled in a while. You have to use real light oil. Gosh, this needs to be cleaned bad. Um, I'll try not to make this such a long one. Videos lately seem like they're just getting longer and more aggravating. I don't know. Okay, so uh, here is the uh, heart of it all. That's the, uh, the ticker, the timepiece there. Yes, it's Swiss. And uh, it runs, and here's the, the winder on the inside, and it runs off the, uh, <clears throat> gosh, I'm getting a cold. There's the spring there. It runs off that spring. This to be wound, I think, once a day. Man, that's some HD there. Anyway, so I'll give you a quick look at what's inside. Then we'll do a fired up all in one video. I thought this was really, really cool. There's the coin slot. I always thought these were interesting the way they kind of moved. And y'all can see the inside, the innards there. Real simple to work on. Well, I mean, as far as the um, <clears throat> removal, I'm sorry. Take your driver here, and loosen this screw. You gotta be an insulated screwdriver because that, you know, this may be hot. It could be uh, 96 volts AC on this thing. Wait a minute, no. Right, 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 no, this, no. Wrong uh, parking meter. Anyway, so you just take it carefully, this brass plate here, and pivot it out at the top and make sure your screw is loose all the way and you can see it kind of come out and hear it click there you go and it sets in those two screws there at the bottom and this needs to be restored i i did put this paint on it several years ago i've been hanging on to this thing man it's so cool this mech it says here was rebuilt in 3 24 1980 we'll take their word for it <clears throat> there's the inside it's aluminum Strong boxes down there. I lost the keys to it. Um, I thought the keys were in the strong box and it got closed somehow. No, of course not. Man, that's some HD there. Anyway, um, so I got tired of waiting. I've been wanting to do a video of this forever, ever since I did the traffic light video. There's a traffic light over there. So I got impatient and took the drill to it. It's just soft brass. The old DeWalt made short work of it, even with a crappy bit. I replaced, the, the glass was broken, I put plexiglass in here, just a quick job I did one day. Um, anyway, there's the, uh, there's the case, cool as hell, would we'll never sell that thing, thanks dad. And uh, if I had 10 cents, I'd show you how to work this thing. I'm kidding. <coughs> so <coughs> right now it'd be expired, I, I, th I wound it up. I think it took the wind, so let's see uh, what you would do is, if you're going to want to park and pay the man, and this is where it shows you, you know, uh, how much you've paid, so I guess there's, I guess that's three hours or one hour, one nickel only, so, huh, you can use dimes too, I reckon, okay, so it, back then it was nickels, I didn't even, never did that before, 
So that little slot there would be what you'd have here. And uh, the blocker's there showing you that you don't have to pay anymore, but saying that uh, I tell it it's expired. Oh crap, wait a minute, I have to reset it, sorry y'all. I guess you'd kinda wanna see it if you're wa still watching. So that would be expired. Okay, so, oops, and then it would, um, you'd put your nickel in. Um, oh yeah, right, it's right here. So you put your, nic your nickel in. Make sure I'm gonna be able to show you what's happening here <laughs> when it happens. And the, uh, Spring is obviously loaded, and there you got two hours for one nickel. Let me see how it works. <laughs> this thing is a maniac, a maniac for sure. So you can kind of get an idea of it's made pretty well. Um, it's American made, except for the uh, the brains here, I guess, which is modular. You can take it out. You cut a pin there and it slides out. We had a bunch of these, my, my dad and I did, or my dad did, and he sold them and made a bunch of money and bought them from the city in North Carolina. And anyway, that's the deal. That's how it works. Very cool how they could, you know, mill all those parts and get them to work. It looks like something Rodalco would have on his channel, but I think uh, this is maybe one of the first here so we'll show you one more time the mech from the other side this time <clears throat> um, make it act like it uh, it thinks that you're expired a very accurate time on these things though. so there you go cops know to come and bust you because you're a, a criminal um, as they come out as you can see they drop down into the strong box at the bottom there I use a little bit too much oil looks like this thing up and uh, still ticks because there's another reset in there somewhere that uh, I don't know how to hit but so we'll look at it from in here this time when I stick a uh, dime in there let me see if I can get it to focus and let's see here dime goes in actually you probably want to see an angle like that <clears throat> if you even care if you're still here I would be because I'm a dork and I love this stuff. So expire and you put your money in. And there you go. So let's see what happens if we put another one in. If it takes it and puts it in the little roundabout there. Wow, that was cool. Damn, let's do that again. It's costing me a fortune to make these quality videos for y'all. It was what was cool is um, on, when I wound it up that the spring box down there in the bottom. When I wound it up, I, I just I lost the I had I had three keys for this thing: the key to turn that, to wind it, and the key to open the strong box and to open the, the top the twisty lock. And but anyway, I used channel locks. All I did was like four. Must have some serious gear reduction going on because I turned it I think two rotations and it was fully wound and it's running well now. So that, that's kind of interesting. Music's killing me, guys. I gotta. Damn, at every moment. Have the money to give them. I just think stuff like this is cool. You know, electronics is. I probably like it better, but. I'll keep trying to share this stuff with you. Even Smokey Robinson in the background. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Let's see that one more time. Front side. Keep taking our money. Okay, it's not taking my money. That did something wrong guys. Maybe it's loaded up already. Wow. 
so it doesn't want any more money. That's interesting. Things used to be made like that. They were they. Uh, if it was full, I wouldn't take anymore. Now they'll keep taking. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they'll keep taking. That's what I figured. Maybe it was counterfeit. Maybe it was Canadian money or something. Oh yeah, they'll keep on taking. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the parking meter there. Thanks, Dad.